You got some pep in your step this morning. I brought out a new volunteer to help with all the screenings. <laughs> huh. Maybe you have a little more time for me now, huh? <laughs> Maybe. Hi, Olive. So glad to have you on board. Me too. I wanted to be productive and locked in and help out our furry companion. You came at the perfect time. We have had more adoption applications than we have dogs. I sent you a list of questions to oh, go I over. Oh, I have my own list of questions. Oh, well, I applaud your enthusiasm. It's similar to yours, but I find that sometimes you have to tailor questions to the individual to make sure they're a great match. I see. Well, please try to stick to my list of questions so that there's some level of uniformity when I'm sending my notes to the shelter. Sounds good. Bye. Bye. Ah, uh, so glad I got that volunteer. Me too. Uh, see what we get. denied almost all the applications you were assigned. Yeah, they weren't well suited for adopting a dog. Yes, but all of them? Not all. Line 17. Right. And on what grounds are you denying all these people? A feeling. A feeling? Uh-huh. Well, let's go over the list, shall we? Let's start with Edith. Edith. Why don't you like a dog, Edith? Same reason everyone wants a dog. Companionship. I'm sorry, is this still a good time for you? Yes, of course. We're just... It's work. Never mind. I'm all ears. No problem. What kind of qualities are you looking for? Qualities? Well, it can't be retarded. Excuse me? Please do not use that word ever again. No, I didn't mean... I meant it needs to be extremely intelligent. Smarter than my husband, at least. That was a joke. All dogs are smart in their own way. Their IQ should not be a factor. Dogs are beautiful, yes, loving creatures. Yes, I creature. get it. Look, woman to woman, my loser husband is trying to get sole custody of our daughter. So it's really for my daughter. You know, so I can get some cool mother points. Right. Well, I wish you good luck with your daughter and I have to move on to my next appointment. Wow, she really said that? Just when you think you've heard it all. What about... Jackson. Oh, poor Jackie. Why would you like a dog, Jackson? Uh, call me Jackie. Jackie. Well, my boyfriend and I broke up yesterday, and I need someone to talk to and to cuddle with. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Would you be willing to give me a virtual tour of your place? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> decorated it myself. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it is. It's not my place anymore, though. I have to find a new place by the end of the month. Maybe a dog is not really what you need right now. <laughs> I need a dog now! 
This gives me time to acclimate, and if we don't know where we're gonna live. <laughs> Tell you what, contact me when you're settled and we can go from there. No, I'm settled. I'm settled. My next appointment is waiting. <laughs> Hope you find a place soon. Probably for the best. And Annie? Oh, Annie? Why would you like a dog, Annie? Oh, well, you know, it's been lonely for me. My kids got married and have their own lives, and I am here in this big house all by myself. Would you say you're pretty healthy? Yes, I am. But uh, how is that relevant? Pretty spry, then. Uh, I guess. How old are you, Annie? Excuse me? Well, if you're all alone, I have to ask, since dogs can live up to an average of 13 years. I beg your pardon. How does that happen? Your time. Oh, no. Casey? Casey. Why would you like a dog, Casey? Dogs are cool. They're, uh, they're man's best friend, am I right? I'm an actor. Wow, what's that like? Oh, uh, a lot of waiting and, and sitting. We do get dope crafty. Uh huh. Well, from my understanding, acting is a bit unpredictable. So do you do something else for money? Nah, um, I need to keep my schedule free for auditions. Right. Well, pets can be expensive, especially if they develop health problems. Have you looked into pet insurance? <laughs> pet, pet insurance? Man, I, I don't even have my own health insurance. I have to go to my next meeting. It was lovely to meet you. Pet insurance? Seriously? Seems like a good call. Uh, Maritza? Oh, Maritza. Why would you like a dog, Maritza? Well, I grew up with dogs, and I always wanted to adopt one, but once I was settled. That's great. Your accent is lovely. Where are you from? Mexico. Wow, that's a journey. How long have you been here? I've been here about six years. Cool. And are you allowed to stay in the United States? Excuse me? Hey, not judging, but if you get deported, my concern is the dog. Oh, no, it's in serio. No, increíble, ¿cómo puedes preguntarme una cosa así? Realmente no lo puedo creer. Pago todos mis impuestos, idiota. ¿Sabes qué? Voy a llamar a tu jefe. My next appointment is waiting. It's nice to meet you. Gracias. Oh, my. You're fired. Welcome. out as he posts more short films regularly. Each story is its own, unrelated to the next one. My goal is to foster collaborations so we can all grow together. Subscribe to Ask the Collective LA on YouTube and share away.